Okay, we're out this morning starting our project. This is the kind of sticks we're looking for. We're building a uh, a log cabin from the Civil War era for a school project. Come on. So the goal is go into the woods, find some logs, and cut them up. That's our watermelon plant. Can you believe it's the end of October and we still got a watermelon plant? It actually just popped up by itself. So now we will go start the look. Our goal is to find slick sticks that are already dried. No, we don't need that. Oh no, it's pink. So we don't have to do a lot of uh, extra stripping and drying. We're, you know, gonna have to figure out how to dry them. So, but we're not doing that. What we're trying to do first is find sticks that are uh, all about the same size. Then we gotta find some little tiny square type rocks that we're gonna use for our bases. Then we gotta figure out how we're gonna mud it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how to do all that I part have to yet. Do is get this mud. But we usually wing it and come out pretty good on school projects. So we're walking through our own woods and look what I just found. That's a plow point. So we'll take that back and put it on the pile of plow points. Our goal is to make this as realistic as possible, even though it's going to be miniature. And we looked up uh, Booker T. Washington's birthplace this morning, and uh, that's a pretty uh, heartbreaking looking thing. That might be good. Let's look at this one. Alright, that might be a good piece. Alright. It's hard to do anything without our cat following us. Our dog cat. Come on. I had a plan in our own yard. And uh and our plan in our own yard was to get some logs from all the trees we cut down and build my own cabin. And there's a start. That's my drying zone. Yes, it will work. I've done it before. But these are big logs. Let me show you the foot upon it. The foot upon it. Did you find another one? Now, that was a little too big. Come on. I sat my plow point down in the road up here. Forgot it. Let's go back and get it. If you're here for just the project, you can fast forward. Oh my goodness, where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. Ha! I thought we cut the sticks. So it's this shot. Well, they did it with uh, things like this. Let's, Let's go. Let's use like a chainsaw. We don't need a chainsaw. Cat's nuts. Okay, hold on. Alright, I'm picking up stuff. I'm going to show you something real quick. I built this little cabin. Of course, it's got a metal roof. So it doesn't really count. This little cabin right here was built out of an oak fence. I may have shown you all this before. It was going to be torn down. And I couldn't bear to see the fence just torn down and all the wood burned. So I took down the whole fence and cut it and put it all together when my kids were itty bitties. He wasn't even uh, born yet. But his two oldest brothers they got to complain it. That was my first uh, attempt at a cabin. Of course the deck is just a little normal deck. Alright, let's go turn this off. Okay, now we're taking our sticks and we're going to cut them to our length. This is going to be our base. So what we're going to do is build like the, the master's quarters here, the slave owner's quarters. Then over here we're going to put a couple of small uh, slave quarters. Then we'll have our little fence and stuff like that. Then we got to get rocks and all that. Alright, let's go.
All right, I think we have enough wood. And I think now we need to get our little uh, footing, not that kind of rock, oh. our, our little footers for it um, to get it up off the ground. So we're gonna head to the creek over here and look for little rocks. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's my bottle pile. I was trying to clean up my mess back here. We got our rocks for our footer. Got them lined up. We kind of sanded it down a little bit. And now I think I'm going to use silicone to attach the rocks all together. And also for the uh, the mud in between the uh, pieces of wood. So we'll see what the plan turns out to be. It's okay, look, come look. Oh, you're just throwing it? Yeah. Look. Yeah. What about all the, on the deck? I can blow it off. Oh, when it dries, though. Daddy. Oh. What do you think? Um, we need some more dirt. Because you can see a lot of white on that side.
Daddy, is that how tall it's gonna be? Is that tall enough? I'm thinking so. We may have to do a tilt roof, okay? Where the roof's up there like that. As long as the roof is like, is it going to be like a triangle roof? Alright, this is what we have so far. The dirt we threw around there was to make it more look more like uh, the old clay type. So when this dries, I ran out of silly putty, so I had to go get some more. And, uh, anyway, we got a plan. I know it's looking a little funky right now, but it's coming together, isn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Squeezing out. Yeah, no, it's been up a little quicker than I thought it was going to. I got a different brand. This is more, this is a Loctite brand. Oh, I was telling the people of the tube. It feels a lot stickier, so what I'll do is go back around it all later on today and settle up the edges a little bit better. Oh, using it well, what we do is, uh, my bride's out here, she's checking out our work. What do you think so far? I like it, it looks good. What we're doing is we silicone it. Well, I started off with a cheaper silicone. I should have got this. This is what you want to get when you do these projects like this. It's the Loctite stuff. It dries quicker. I mean, look at that. That was on the, I just dumped that out of my tube. And I can already roll it into a ball. And then we're throwing dirt on it. Oh, yeah. So the mortar, I don't know if it was called mortar back then. You know, it looks a little mud. more timely. Yeah, the mud. And sometimes you gotta kind of rub it in the cracks there. Mm -hmm. Over here, it's, it's gonna have to. Yeah, this side looks real brown. So then, the next step is we blow it off. The door. Where are we out? Oh, we we'll have to put a swinging door. So now we just we don't have a lot of pressure on this, so it just barely moves the dirt. From right here to the sides. Barely blow the big dirt off. Get it out from around it. Make sure the wind's in your moves. Back up, son. Make sure the wind's not in your face. Otherwise, press nine to continue. We're going crude. It's supposed to be crude, so I wish I had used the the better silicone. You can see that's still mushy down there. It'll be hard for the days over there. All right, clean working surface. You could do surgery on that piece of wood. All right, finish, yeah. Just barely push it so it blows it away. You don't want to do it hard, you blow everything off our table. Now we gotta figure out our roof. How are we gonna, oh, how about that? He can hit in the face with a GoPro and GoPro or go home. What's the back look like? Oh, we need some dirt back here. Looking too white, looking too fresh. Okay. It Maybe not be sticky enough anymore. All right, we're gonna do a lean to type roof. So we're gonna have three logs up front. But to make these stay together, since he's got to carry this to school, I'm going to drill holes through these and put a piece of wire through them and then silicone them. So anyway, it'll look like uh, it's made that way because it is made that way.
know what they're using. We're having a little difficulties. We got to start it doing this, something else. All right, guess what I did? I just read the directions. One of those things you're supposed to do first. For some reason, this 1800s house is supposed to have, you know, secure and solid, twigs, pretzels, popsicle sticks, has a base, painted roof. Who had a painted roof during the Civil War, other than maybe a few rich people? Most of them were shingled. Nobody painted their roof. Or they trimmed wood slats and laid them on top of each other. Look it up. Chimney okay, door okay, two windows, we can wing that. Creativity, overall neatness, I don't know. So anyway, total score is 100. So I gotta back up and get a different roof plan. I was gonna do a lean-to roof with these, rip them, and lay them on top, all the way across, do a cutout for my chimney, blah, 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 blah. I guess I should have read that. All right, wait right there. All right, for the roof, here's my plan. I've taken this leg off a stool and we decided to rip little pieces off to make shingles. I guess I'll put a piece of wood on top like they never did in the 1800s and then I will uh, shingle it like the rich people did. So. Maybe six people in Alabama had nice shingled roofs. Everybody else had mudded log roofs. Yeah, I'm getting a little frustrated, but I'm on a roll. We're gonna get this joker done. Here's some of my shingles already done. I just cut little pieces. So now I'm trying to get about the same size as the roof. So we'll see. I decided to go ahead and cut pieces for the, I'm gonna go ahead and put the floor in. And what I'm going to do it is just to put some uh, pedestals on the bottom. I'll show you in just a second. I'll show you right now. I'm going to make these short and put them down in there. And then drop my floor down inside. So, we'll see how that goes, huh? Alright, I got my little pedestals made. For the uh, floor. This stuff hardens up so fast. I mean, real fast. And I'm just sitting them down on top of the, the pile of silly putty. Where's number four? I had four, there it is. That's a hardwood too also, so it doesn't split when I cut it that small. All right, now I'll place the floor inside the little hut. All right, since the project can't have any modern materials, I'm taking my nail braces out. I just barely tapped these in earlier. I'm taking them out of the inside since my silicone is pretty strong now. I'll leave the outside ones up, oops. And then I'll put my dots of silicone on tops of these little pedestals and drop my floor in there. It's not going to be, it's not going to fill up the whole bottom, but it will look like a floor when you look through the front door at the floor. And you'll be wanting to see more. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You look to the front door, you see a floor. You look to the top, you can see it's not really covering everything, but that's okay. It is a faux floor. What up, faux? All right. Alright, here it is, so far. 
around the sides. He's still blowing a little air on it. That side, inside. We got some log steps. These people are really poor. And now we got to do our uh, the roof again, which I'm really not happy about. I wanted to do it in logs, but we're gonna do it with. Uh, where they go? Oh, they all got blue over there. We're gonna use those and paint them. I'm trying to determine how we're gonna do the door to this part of the. That is the world's worst drill bit. All right, for the front door, I just took a little piece of wood and drilled a couple holes in it and drilled my holes in here when I finally found a drill bit that would work. And uh, I got plans for the door, so anyway, I'm not gonna attach it yet. I'll show you.